Yo, what's up guys? Teacher Paul here, and today we're going to talk about something very special that happened a few minutes ago. You may already know by the title and the thumbnail of this video, but yes, I met the man himself, the rocking star Yash. How did this happen? Well, yesterday I received an invitation to a private Zoom call meeting with, um, with the Hombali um, team and other big YouTubers. So I was there looking at my phone and I was like, I got a message from the Hombali team asking me to join big YouTubers. And I'm thinking to myself, me? Do you guys know who me is, <laughs> who I am? <laughs> and I'm thinking, okay, who else is going to be there? Oh, just small names like Jabby Koe, RDTV, and I'm like, uh, okay, but do you know who I am? <laughs> okay, I'm kidding. Um, I was very excited that they were calling me and inviting me, and I thought, you know, this is this is very nice. You know, this is very nice. So I'm gonna get to be in this virtual meeting with many other YouTubers, and it's gonna be nice. But what I did not expect was about to happen. What happened <laughs> was they showed three videos in this event. The first video was um, a video that there was a promotion, a promo in in a street called El Dorado in the US. Did you know there is a street called El Dorado in the US? Well, there is, and they promoted KGF there. The second video was um, showing Las Vegas and the craze that they're doing there. Uh, the posters, the TV, uh, you know, showing a lot of um, a lot of pictures of KGF and, and promoting the movie. And then after we saw these two videos, the third video was announced that a YouTuber called Teacher Paul made a song. And I'm like, oh, who is this Teacher Paul and what song did he make? <laughs> So during the event, they started playing this song over here, which caught me off guard. This is actually the very first thing that happens on the live stream. You can never stop me even if you try. What? Rocky Pie, Rocky Pie, Rocky Pie. Yo. I will keep my promise till the day I die. Okay. Off on the map, set up a trap. Blew up the truck, truck and had time, time to come, come back. back. To save his kid, he gave his life. They shot him dead in, in front, front of his wife. wife. There is a blind man that they want dead. Give me my hammer and he will be safe. Am I the hero? No, I'm the villain. I'll show no mercy. Go straight for his head. Now I'm coming for Garuda. Banda. You don't know who I am, do ya? Banda. Took the sword from you, booya. Banda. If you guys haven't heard my song yet, for some reason, you don't know that I made a rap song. For some reason, you're you're new to the channel and you don't know that I made the song. Pay attention to this part. Banda. Pay attention to this. Pay attention. Split your head into two, yeah. Banda. Rocky bye, Rocky bye, Rocky bye, Rocky bye. What? You can never stop me even if you try. Bye. Rocky bye, Rocky bye, Rocky bye. You can never stop me even if you try. This is not a story. Rocky bye, Rocky bye, Rocky bye. This is an emotion. I will keep my promise till the day I die. Go. Rocky bye, Rocky bye, Rocky bye, uh. Rocky bye. Yo. You can never Yo. stop me Yo. even if you try. You can never Rocky stop Rocky. Rocky you can Rocky never Rocky stop Rocky the police Rocky army. You can never stop Teacher Paul. <laughs> Let's go. You can never stop me even uh, if you try. Uh, rocky bye, rocky bye, rocky bye. I will keep my promise till the day I die. History was wrong. Powerful people make places powerful. Okay, so <laughs> you guys may think this is just like me playing Don't my video. To subscribe to my channel. But this is actually the know, event what itself. Movie I should do next. Okay, that was a very powerful video. Powerful people come from powerful places. And yes, a powerful movie is coming out very, very, very soon. And we are all excited. And our heart says, Rocky boy, Rocky boy, Rocky boy. Yes, let me introduce my co-host. He is also known as Power Patil. Mr. 
Power Patil. He's very famous as Power Patil. So let me introduce Mr. Vinay Bharadwaj. I just want to say hey. thank you, Akshay. Hey, I think that was teacher. <laughs> yes, teacher Paul. Thank hey, you. What a banger of a song, teacher. That's amazing. I just loved it. It was amazing. Yes, my heart is still beating. Rocky bye, Rocky <laughs> bye, Rocky bye. Very catchy and very insightful song too. Uh, you know, it was talking about Rina, the mom being the warrior. Amazing. Loved it. And Absolutely like amazing. Music, daga, 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 daga. That was... Daga, <laughs> daga, daga, daga. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Akshay, thank you for adding me. So yes. great to see you all, guys. Great to see you all. Uh, I know that I've added uh, Akshay and myself to Spotlight, but as we go into the questions, asking and everything. Okay, so you guys can see the whole event on Facebook. So go to my Twitter and follow me on Twitter if you haven't. It's I am Teacher Paul. The link is in the description. And you can see that um, I retweeted the, the link to the live stream. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the moment Rocky entered, which was, you know, exciting for everybody. Okay, let's go. And I'll show you guys. If you start introducing. Oh, okay. yes, I hear I the voice. Have... Okay, we yes. hear the voice. Woo! Woo let's give it out. Loud Rocking one. star, yes. R-O-C-K-Y. Woo! Rocky. Rocky. Hey. Hey. Namaskara. 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 Hello, Rocky. Bye. Namaskara. Hi. Namaskara. 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 Okay, so. This part, everybody started asking questions and then the host had to say, calm down, calm down. We're going to give everyone a chance to ask, even though, you know, no, not everyone had a chance to ask, but we had great people there. And the first one to ask his question was Jabby. You, and you look even younger than the last time we saw you. How's that possible? Thank you. Thank you, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. So uh, I guess we should just jump right into it. Uh, did you experience any injuries on set while shooting KGF Chapter 2? Because I'm all about the action. I was just wondering how that went. No, I think we have fantastic technicians who really take care of me. And, you know, so much of money driving on my shoulders. They don't want to take a chance. <laughs> they make sure, um, you know, everywhere I'm protected. And, yeah, it's it's not about me doing much. It's about who comes to me, they have to fly. I don't fly. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> uh, were there any big challenges while doing the fight scenes or the action for you? And I love Chabby's microphone. <laughs> um, so to maintain that kind of an intensity throughout is a challenge due to uh, the weather condition or, yeah, that's part of my job. So I don't want to go bragging about it. It's I think that's why people are here and... Uh, I chose this profession, right. so uh, I love this profession and I love everything about this profession. So whatever I do, I think I enjoy more than uh, calling it a very difficult thing or a strenuous thing. It's like very exciting and I thoroughly enjoyed it. Okay, cool. Cool. Um, so now that you've completed KGF Chapter 2, is there anything, if you could go back in time to when you were filming chapter one, is there anything that you would advise yourself back then, you know, with the knowledge that you know now? That's a good question. That happen, every day, if you look back at whatever things you do on a daily basis, you will find those kind of uh, mistakes or probably uh, if I was wiser, like, or we assume that we are wiser and better uh, as the day go by, uh, days goes by. I don't think like that. I think what, what is not in my control, I don't worry about those things. Rather, I'll be thinking about what I should do. Because once it's done, it's done. Probably, uh, he would have uh, made it a little quicker, faster. <laughs> That's something I would have uh, advised myself back then. 
Awesome, awesome. Thank you. Thank you, guys. That was you're like spot on. You knew you know what to ask and everything. That's amazing. Next up, we have uh, teacher Paul. We That's me. Thank you, guys. Thank you for uh, promoting uh, KJ from the beginning, and you guys have been really, really uh, supportive. Thank you so That's much. Nice. Yeah, man. Thank you. It was good to see you again. Yeah. Looking forward to watching the film. Yeah, please watch it and uh, I'll I'll wait for your review. <laughs> okay, <laughs> awesome. This is so nice, and I I, I want to say it, it's so nice that Rocky um, acknowledges and appreciates, and you know he he really supports what we do. You know the reviews and the reactions, and you know what he said to Jabby was amazing. He's gonna watch the the review that is nice okay so after jabby there was another person the the second one <laughs> to be called to ask a question let's see who he was yeah, thank you man. sorry to interrupt you guys looking Hi. forward to it yes thank you thank you brother yeah sweet hey we have feature for feature banda Paul. banda <laughs> banda <laughs> namaskara rocky elari go namaskara Wow. Wow. Hi. <laughs> I'm so happy to be here. I'm so excited. And I'm, I'm so glad you enjoyed Maybe my rap. <laughs> I was going to introduce myself and, and, and tell you um, that I, we I all know you, man. We you. All know you. I, I've seen your video and um, your song. Superb. Oh, so I think uh, my team also tweeted about you. Uh, I made sure they talk about your work. That was so sweet. Whatever you did, and you trying to speak in Canada means a lot to me, and oh. a lot of Canadians as well. Tanya <laughs> Vada, I'm trying to learn. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so my question is based on that. So when you tweeted about my rap, um, you said that you were surprised that um, I could understand the, the the movie, and it was actually my first Indian movie, and I watched it. I enjoyed it. So how do you feel when foreigners watch your movies and, and they understand and they, they capture the essence, which means that you and uh, the crew have done a great job. So how does it make you feel like reaching a global um, level? It feels great, you know, to begin with, the kind of effort it goes to just to understand another language, ask me about it, it takes a lot and uh, the kind of research you have done on our film and the effort you put in to make a song you know i don't know how to thank you uh, great job man and uh, being a movie maker or a, a actor whatever you call me i always believe movie has got that strength where it can bring in people together it can uh, bring in cultures together so this is beyond that in India, we have so many languages, so many culture. We are still trying too hard to come together and be an Indian film. But uh, coming from you, uh, a song uh, and you trying to learn a language means a lot. And that also gives me a lot of confidence saying cinema as a universal language. And deep down, all of us are humans and we need those kind of uh, moments or emotional elements where we connect to and we celebrate so i i truly believe in that and i'm glad we are able to you know uh, do something which excited you and thank you man that's it we are we're happy and we we love you oh thank you so much are we gonna have an english dubbed movie or a trailer also i i don't believe in um, doing something for the sake of doing okay if we are doing it there is a a lot of other elements which we need to concentrate on because of the kind of films you guys are used to uh, watching and we have a different setup here back in india we need songs and don't even try to question the logic behind it mm -hmm. and so many other stuff here as indian audience everybody is aware of those things and they, they kind of just get into that world and they they also know the trick of that so if we are getting into english I don't see a difference. For me, uh, it is not a big thing. I know if you are waiting to watch my film, if I can communicate it better in your language, we'll surely do it. Do that. We'll try to do that, but not for the sake of doing so. There are so many other elements 
let me uh, think into it step by step one step at a time <laughs> <laughs> okay thank you so much for having me we really Thanks. appreciate you and what you you have done for sandalwood for the indian uh, uh, there, there is no sandalwood this is canada no. film <laughs> industry hollywood is what you guys have yes and it's original because the place is called hollywood okay. we have uh, karnataka kannada film industry and we have indian industry okay thank you so much we appreciate thank you, you. <laughs> yeah thank you teacher paul uh, next we have uh... okay so let's talk about this for a second the first thing that rocky did when he saw me he was banda banda he was singing my song and i was like what i was about to introduce myself but he knows who i am and he said oh we know you we love you and i'm like what what okay okay i mean he had tweeted about me but my song was released eight nine months ago and the fact that he still remembers banda you know he still remembers parts of my song that he watched nine months ago is something that is incredible to me. I mean, I didn't, I did not expect him to remember me because he saw me like very briefly, I think, or unless he watched my other reactions, I don't know what happens um, behind the scenes, but the fact that he remembers me and he can even quote and sing my song, you know, Banda, I think that's his favorite part. Uh, the fact that he can do that is amazing. So <laughs> the second thing I want to say is that um, we we had um, we had like one question, but then I tried to ask him a second question just, you know, since I had the platform and um, I, I really appreciate that he answered the questions thoroughly and in detail. But at the end, I said Sandalwood and apparently he wanted me to call it Canada Film Industry, KFI. So I'm going to start just calling it KFI, but I, I, I like the, the, the Sandalwood name as well. But the fact that it, it, it's not a real name, then okay, let's call it KFI <laughs> from now on. But that was nice. He was so kind. He was so humble. And it was an honor um, just being invited. And it was very nice that they played my song. And it was very nice that he answered my question with such patience and you know such kindness and with such a good heart that is so nice and i really hope and i am sure that the kgf chapter 2 movie is gonna blow up now the next few parts of the the live stream you guys can go and watch it so my friends i r h daily were also there sean and alisa from canada they're okay. really waiting to ask you a question Oh hey Sean. Hey, oh my Lisa. gosh. Hello. Hi. Hi Ash. This is so exciting. We yes. are huge oh fans gosh. and we are so happy to be talking to you. Uh, geez. Now, originally I was going to ask about those crazy action sequences and how you don't hurt anyone while doing it, but you sort of already spoke to that. So yeah. maybe I'm going to ask the next most important question, which is how do yeah. you maintain Sean that is so amazing professional. beard? <laughs> how do we tame how this? We... <laughs> we need to... Do you have any advice? It's for... all over the place. <laughs> You know, if it doesn't sound like endorsing something, <laughs> I use a product which might help. And on on top of it, you know, it looks great on, you know, men are supposed to be like this. Yeah. At least as far as I, I'm concerned <laughs> or what I believe. But yeah, let him be the way he is. He's looking super cool. What? Maybe he needs some Beardo. Ah, uh, maybe products. I think that might be an order. I appreciate that a whole lot. Not everyone's a big fan of this, but I, I appreciate that Yash is. Um, we had one more question here. You know, that is awesome. Sean got a compliment on his beard. He's looking like a man. My beard is not as big as Sean's or, or Rocky's, but, you know, still got it. <laughs> the thing is, it's it's very high maintenance, but I can grow the beard. The hair is another story. I, you know, I'm getting old. I'm working too hard. <laughs> oh, um, yeah, sorry. I just wanted to know, okay, so in the teaser, when you're loading the big, huge gun and you're shooting at the cars, how do they actually make the cars go up? Like, is there like strings, like, <laughs> like how does it happen? You know, uh, 
teaser is just a teaser so we haven't revealed much like why it flies yeah. it might look like there is no logic behind it but at least uh, we according to us we have a logic when you know uh, i think there are tanks underneath that's why it flies up uh, the the fuel tank gets uh, the there we go. shot there's a friction and then there is so much happening and how do we do it there are uh, they use some cannon blast they call it they keep it and they do it but the per the guy who did it did a great job uh, the timing was so good mm -hmm. all the three vehicles uh, went together good it was <laughs> fun and my action director anbariyo master they kind of pulled it off so that's like one exciting uh, element in uh, action sequences where everybody will be waiting to see those kind of shots yeah. because it's kind of risky and expensive also you have only one yeah, shot i'm glad I, i hope you guys liked it oh we loved it a whole lot oh i loved it yeah <laughs> i don't know i was like that's amazing like is that cgi like to know like no they're actually flying yeah, they made that happen yeah, so thanks for explaining that mm -hmm. blow it up we blow it up better <laughs> than you guys blow it up and then you lit your cigarette on the gun that was the uh the ultimate uh, ender there so yeah uh, he, uh, rocky bhai couldn't get a lighter and if he wants to Light a cigarette. That's what he will end up doing. <laughs> Which is very interesting because I saw, um, uh, you know, there was KGF explained the science behind KGF. I, I saw a video that explained that. If you watch carefully, you you will see that Rocky is always losing his cigarettes or his his lighter. He, no, he never loses a cigarette, but he always loses his lighter in the in the first part of the movie. Um, in KGF Part One, he always he never knows where the lighter is. So you know, Yash has just explained that. No, so happy. So my happy. director came up with that uh, fantastic quirky thing. <laughs> I think yeah. uh, it's accepted very well all over the world. People are loving it. I, I've I've seen a couple of videos where people have mentioned we have never seen anything like this. Yeah, yeah amazing. In, you know, in English films also. Absolutely. We can't wait to see the yeah, sequel. Yeah, so excited. Thank you. Thank you so thank much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you Sean and Alisa. Thank you so thank much you. folks. Thank you. Thank you Yash. Thank you guys. Okay, next. Okay guys, so if you want to watch the full event, go on my Twitter and you can see I left a live stream link over there for Facebook, but it was amazing. It was so nice. And it felt it felt, you know, nice to be in a private call with Yash. and all of these great youtubers guys go check out um jabby go check out i don't even need to promote his channel he is like a huge star but go check out irh daily internet rabbit hole daily they have been great sports and guys subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet i'm telling you guys i'm going to do my best to keep on bringing great content so if you guys haven't subscribed yet what are you waiting for If this doesn't make you subscribe, then hey, I don't know what to do. <laughs> But anyways, guys, subscribing or not, I had fun and this is something that is a long time coming and I'm really happy that you know, the KGF team appreciate my work, um appreciate um what I've been doing and guys, I have been telling you so many times that when you do something because you love it things naturally happen i didn't call them i didn't get in touch with them they called me i was sitting i got a message on 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 my phone and i'm like okay let's go i had no idea this was happening it was just you know you know sometimes you don't know who's watching and you know it, it's very nice to be acknowledged and hey let's get let's get there let's get another one of these for this channel for the indian um content channel we're going to get two for this one and you know it's going to be nice so i'm so happy today my day was was very productive and i'm i'm really really grateful you know and guys i did not expect them to reach out to me and the song that i made the very first movie i watched was kgf and the rap that i made i didn't i didn't even know that it was possible to reach the main actor you know yash 
the director, Prashant Neil, he also tweeted the Homebody team. In my mind, I was like, I'm making this rap for you guys, for me, for the, for the history, for the nostalgia. You know, I can imagine that three years from now, I'm going to listen back to this song and, and everybody's going to find it, you know, interesting. So I did it for the love of the movie that I watched. I had no idea that nine months later, I would be sitting here in a private Zoom call with Yash. Three days before the major launch, this man is so busy and he called a, a set group of people and I was there. I'm like, this is amazing. So grateful, so thankful. And hey, thank you guys for sticking around and let's keep going. Let's keep going. I'll see you soon. Take care now. Bye-bye. Daniafada. Elariku. See you soon.